When you love somebody, you put your pants on for them. I mean, I'm wearing p pants, but I'm just gonna switch pants here. I just wanted to make the reference. Hey there. So hey, what's up, you guys? It's Steph, and today is a fantastic day. Monday, the 10th, I believe, of September, and my local library has been closed for months. Okay, I'm talking months. Renovations has been renovated. I think they said since the 70s, and then they decided to renovate it, and it's been closed for months. But today. It is finally open, so I'm going to check it out. I'm so excited. I got my library card somewhere. I think it's in my pocket. <laughs> and I'm so excited to get some physical books because I've gotten the e-loans. Thank God the e-loan library has been open, but to hold a physical library loan again, I'm so ready. <laughs> I'm not going to have my camera with me when I go in, but I might vlog a little bit on my phone. So quality in video may change a bit, so I apologize about that, but I really want to show you guys this because I'm so excited. I haven't been in there in months, like I said, and I'm just so excited to see it and to see see if that what books they have. I'm really hoping they have, I'll be gone in the dark by Michelle McNamara. I want a physical copy to read because I'm reading the ebook, but my loan is going to expire really soon and I'm having a hard time getting through just ebooks right now. So I want to hold a physical copy and if I can find it, I want really want to get History Is All I Love Me by Adam Silvera. Those are my two goals, but I might end up walking out with more. Who knows? I'm a book hoarder, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. Oh my god, you guys, my library looks so freaking nice now. They did the carpets. The shelves are kind of the same, but they just, it's, everything is so much nicer. It just looks so nice. They were handing out free cookies, and get this. You got to take home a free book. Like, they, were, they had a table with free cookies and free books. The cookies were amazing. They tasted like nice new library. <laughs> And then I got a free freaking book. And not just any free book. It's a Rick Riordan Magnus Chase on the Gods of Asgard. The first book, Sword of Summer. And it was a Walmart one. So it had the freaking door hanger in this. I didn't realize this when we were about to leave, by the way. Because I picked this up as soon as we got in, this, in the door. Because I saw Rick Riordan and I was like, yes, please. I want to read more Rick's, um, more of Rick's books. But this was exclusively at Walmart Inc. Limited Edition door hanger inside. And like, I didn't even read that until we were about to leave, and then I peek, and mine had the door hanger in it. I love my local library. Not just that, I picked up three books I'm currently holding upside down, and I'm going to show you guys right now. I'm very excited. Unfortunately, they didn't have I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara, but I saw my Elon for a few more days. I have about 100 pages left in that, so... And this video, I'm filming a week before it even goes live for you guys, so... It'll be done by the time I'm there, and I'll be crying if I haven't finished it yet. I need to finish it, but I do have these three books I'm going to tell you about right now. First of all, I got History is All You Love Me by Adam Silvera, and I'm supposed to be reading a different Adam Silvera book this month, but I've been wanting to read this one. Every time I get the e-loan for it, like, there's never an, a, a line on the e-loan, so I'm constantly checking it out, but I just never read it, because the e-loans are getting harder for me to read, like, focus on. So to actually have a physical copy of History is All You Love Me, I'm excited for this one. I've been wanting to read this one more than the one I actually have more happy than not so I'll probably read this one first next up is one I I don't think I've heard of and that's ran the shadows by Sophie Jordan and this one I don't even remember what it was it was so, something like rain so the like royalty and shadows so spooky stuff like the cover looked very interesting I mean look at that it's so pretty looking I hope the um all oh, the pages are all bent that sucks <laughs> I hope that the um, the glare from the book cover isn't preventing you from seeing it because it's a really pretty looking book. I hope you can see it nice. And then lastly, this was a last minute pickup. I wasn't even going to pick it up, but I saw it. It was one of those ones that they, they like display the cover for you instead of having it in the shelf. So I was like, oh, hey, I know that face. And that's um, I Am Haunted by Zach Bagans, Living Life Through the, through the Dead. This one I've looked at on Amazon. I've looked at all of Zach's books on Amazon. I'm a huge fan of Ghost Adventures. I love that show. I've loved it ever since the, seeing the first episode back in 2011. Absolutely love this show. Watching it evolve has been fun. I really, really enjoy the show and I really enjoy the people on the show. So I saw this and I thought, hey, it's in my Amazon wish list anyway. I might as well pick it up and read it. So yeah, and plus the cover is really interesting. Ooh, I didn't even notice the back. The back looks like some kind of cool, like, emo, early 2000s emo rock band cover. I'm here for it. Yes, Zach, get it. So if you know Ghost Adventures, you know that Zach Bangs is a paranormal investigator. He never believed in ghosts until he came face to face with the one. Now he's on a quest. I, I can't remember the rest of the intro for Ghost Adventures. But if you haven't watched that show, I recommend it. Povelia Island is my favorite episode. That and Moon River Rinko. Those are two classic episodes.
Yeah, guys, I'm so freaking happy my library is back. Ugh, my heart. I went back on opening day. I'm so happy I did. I can't believe they were giving out free books. Like, this is an expensive book at Walmart, okay? And, like, brand new, and it has, still has the door hanger in it. Um, hello, thank you. I love you, public library. You treat us too good. I don't know when I'll read this one, but like I said, I've been wanting to pick up more Rick Riordan books. So this was a very good incentive and I'm thankful to my library for having it. I believe I have until the second of next month to finish all these books. And they're all relatively average length. Zach's book may be a tiny bit shorter than the others, but they're all relatively short in length. So I should be able to get through them, hopefully, maybe. My TBR that I actually set up for this month is gonna cry because I'm not gonna do it. But there you guys go. I know I didn't take any footage of the library or me at the library. I left my phone here because I was dying and I have to go to work in like an hour. So I need my phone charged so that when I get off, I'm not stranded. <laughs> That's always a good thing. I'm just so excited and wanted to share library love with you even though I didn't really show you my library. I'm just really excited to have it back and to have some new books that I have to return, but that I get to read. That's all I've got for you guys today. If you want to see my last video, I'll leave that for you. But right here, it was a book review of Be More Chill, which I've talked about doing for a while, but I had to refilm it because I wasn't happy with the first results. If you want to see a different video from my channel, I'll leave that for you right here. If you want to subscribe, I'll basically right here, as well as the button down there, you can hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Maybe I'll do another library book haul. Who knows? For now, I've got to be get rid of these. I hope you all have a lovely day slash night, and I'll see you later.